Wanted a free ride and they had a gun. So Atlanta police say three teenagers violently forced an employee to turn over some electric scooters. The evening, I'm Marissa Mitchell. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tom Haynes. Tonight, two of those teen suspects face felony charges. A third is still on the run. News Edge reporter Denise Dillon is live in Midtown Atlanta tonight. And Denise, the teenagers were able to temporarily get away on those scooters. Yeah, they made it about two miles, but all of these e-scooters have a GPS built in, so police were able to track them down. And as you said tonight, a 13-year-old and a 17-year-old are facing some serious charges and are in jail. What kids be thinking is, there's too many ways to get money, there's too many ways to be productive, there's too much stuff to do out here, man. For God's sake, get a, get a library card. November Spartley says it's unbelievable that anyone would risk going to jail over a couple of scooters. But apparently, three teens wanted a free ride and forced a contract employee for Lyme to turn over a couple of unlocked two-wheelers. They became very aggressive. Uh, two of the younger guys, you know, was pushing me and trying to jerk the scooters away from me. They offered him a hundred bucks. He refused. They didn't like that. See this shirt up like so. And I seen the handle of the handgun, so whether it was real or not, I don't know. But I wasn't going to take any chances with it. The teens jumped down the scooters and zoomed off down West Peachtree, but they couldn't hide. Fortunately, the scooters actually have tracking devices, so we were able to pinpoint the location that the suspects were. When police spotted them here at Northside Drive and Donnelly Hollowell, they ditched the scooters and took off on foot. Police say there was a short chase, but they caught two of the three. 17-year-old Marquavius Miller and a 13-year-old were arrested. Their buddy got away. Hopefully they find the last guy, but I, I, I really, oh, that's scary. It kind of makes no sense. This is what you do in your free time. You gunpoint people for a scooter bike. It's only a dollar every 30 minutes. I mean, come on, we all got cash apps. Somebody got some money for an hour ride on a scooter bike. I'm pretty sure.